Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Alina and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this uh, ring. I'm going to put it more close up. So we're going to use uh, tubular peyote stitch to encase the um, rivoli. It's a crystal, 14 millimeter. And we're going to use right angle weave to make the band. It's very um, comfortable to wear. It's looking like this. I think it's amazing for any occasion and it's very very easy to do. So let's get started. The material you need for this project is going to be a beading thread. Uh, I'm using Fireline 6LB crystal but you totally can use a black color. You're going to need a Rivoli crystal 14 millimeter. We're going to use this um, crystal simple color. And then you're going to need super duo beads. We're using this bronze color we used before in other projects. I love the metallic bronze color. You're also going to need some um, 3 millimeter fire polish beads. Also bronze, uh, some 4 millimeter fire polish. And I chose uh, as a contrast color this amazing um, um, blue color. It's called uh, Labrador Aqua. I think it's perfect for summer. And also you're going to need some 11 o Toho seed beads and some 15 o seed beads and of course a beading needle. So let's get started. Start by adding 100 cm or 40 inches of thread. We're going to pick up 8 super duos. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And now we're going to form a circle, leave a tail, maybe 15 centimeter or 6 inches like this, not very long. And now I want to make sure I'm going back through all the super doors on the same hole that we just uh, put our thread. We're going to pull, go back through the first one to complete the circle. I will go through the first two. If you want, you can go through all of them again to make sure they are super tight. It's going to look like a gorgeous sunflower, like this. Now what I want to do, I want to change the position of my thread. So my thread is exiting the inner hole of this super duo. So I will go through the outer hole of the same super duo that our thread is exiting. And now we're going to work anti-clockwise like this and we're going to add again a super duo and go through the outer um, outside hole of the next one just like this and pull now pick up another super duo go through the outside hole of the previous one and pull you will see they will start to the second row of super duo, they position themselves uh, between the first row. Pick up another one, go through the next one, and pull. Another super duo, going through this one. It's a very um, easy stitch and design, you will uh, finish in no time. And I think it's great to give it as a present for friends and family. It's even a great idea for uh, maybe Easter present. If you want to give somebody special something and you don't want to spend a lot of money. We reach our last super duo. So I'm going through this super duo from the previous round. This is how it's going to look. Now we want to change our uh, thread again, how it's going. Now I want to step up through one of these super duo from the second round. So I'm going through the inside hole of this one, like this, and then I want to exit here. And now I position myself to add another round of beads. 
and this time they will be four millimeter fire polish so pick up a four millimeter let me flip my work our thread is exiting this super duo I will just go through the next one like this pick up a fire polish go through this super duo it's looking like a beautiful flower and I love 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 this color of the super duos of the fire polish sorry it's um, similar to aquamarine which is a gorgeous blue color summer color almost done with this round okay and then we have one more and then we're going to exit the first fire polish we just added so I'm going through the super duo and then through the first fire polish we added if you pull tight you will notice it's uh, starting to cup which is what we want now we're going to add another round of uh, super duo so pick up a super duo our thread is exiting this fire polish i'm just going to go through the next one like this but what I want you to keep in mind now is that I want you to arrange this two super duo to be as perfectly aligned as possible. Pick up a super duo, go through the next fire polish. If you pull that, you see like this, they are on top of each other. Pick up a super duo, go through the next fire polish another one go to the next pull tight almost there I didn't work with um, super duo for many many years I don't know why I, I felt um, like um, I don't know maybe I don't know uh, what designs I can make with them but I, I can tell you they are very versatile and um, they always create very very elegant designs so if you didn't try Super Duo till now I hope uh, you will try it now plus they are not uh, so expensive and um, it's nice so I'm going through the last fire polish we added and now I want to step up again so I'm going through this super duo inner hole and then I will change the course of my thread and go on the outside hole of the same super duo so this is how it's looking until now now we're going to add another row of super duo but this time we're going to pick up an 11 and a super duo our thread is exiting one of this super duo I'm just going through the next one and I'm going to pull tight like this my thread is a bit long and it's getting tangled in the desk so pick up an 11 and a super duo go through this one another 11 and another super duo it's great when you work with the bigger beads the design it's uh, finished in no time Almost there, 11 now, super duo, 
also this one. Another Ilevano and another Super Duo. I love how it's uh, cupping, it looks very nice, like a teacup. And this is the perfect place to insert our bezel, our Rivoli. So now I'm going through this. This is the last one. I'm going through this uh, Super Duo and the 11 one we added in this round. This is how it's going to look. I want to make sure the this thread is not going to bother us. Now we're going to pick up the Rivoli and I want you to place it um, just like this with the crystal up so actually the layers um, of uh, super duo that we just added it's going to be in the front of the bezel not in the back and I'm going to pull like this it will be very good in a minute so now we're going to step up again we exit the 11 now. I'm going through this inside hole of the next super duo. It, this is the super duo that's loose. It's not connected in, uh, connected on both sides. And then I'm going through the outside hole of the same super duo. Just like this. So we change the direction of the thread again. So now we're going to pick up an 11 now. And I want to go through this super duo that's not connected. We're just going to connect the outside holes of the last round of Super Duo we just added. Make sure you pull, pick up an 11 all, and go through this Super Duo like this. Another 11 all. If you want, you can add the contrasting color of 11 all. I went with the bronze color. Pick up another 11 now. Go through this super duo. As you can see, it's starting to have shape. An 11 now. Go through this super duo. Make sure you always keep your uh, Rivoli inside. Do not get out. And an 11 now. Just like this. Let's see. My thread just got tangled. And I think it's my last. No, I still have this one. And one more 11 now. And I'm going to go to the super duo and the next 11 now that we added in this round. And I'm going to pull super, super tight. Now what you want to do is going to all these beads again. 11 now super duo, outside hole, another 11 now. Two, at least two times until you feel it's secure. And I will meet you right back. Welcome back. I finished uh, securing my um, bezel. I also end up the, um, the, th the tail of the thread. This is how it's looking. I think you can also make a um, pendant if you want. If you add some beads here, it will make a gorgeous pendant too or a brush. So now we're going to uh, make the band for the ring. So I want you to step up on one of these original um, eight super duo that we added on the uh, on this uh, hole on um, inside hole like this so I'm doesn't matter which one now this is the one you're going to pick up two 15 0 and two three millimeter fire polish and two more 15 0 so we're going to start creating the right angle weave units. This is the sequence. 
so now my thread is exiting this uh, fire polish I will go through the same one on the opposite direction of my thread just like this I'm going to pull the beads are tight so it's a bit hard so this is our first unit of right angle weave now I want to step up so I will go through the 250 on one side like this and then on the two fire polish we just added the three millimeter one because you're going to step up so we can add another row of um, right angle weave units so let's see I want to make sure it's tight this is how it's going to look so now we're going to add 250 now again to 3 millimeter fire polish and 250 now just like this and I want to go through the same 3 millimeter fire polish we exit earlier but on the opposite direction so we can create another box of right angle weave just like this I make sure it's tight here the first uh, units are a bit hard the same place okay so now we're going to step up you see they, they are looking like this this is the second unit each unit has two fire polish down three millimeter 250 on one side again two fire polish up and 250 millimeter on the other side so I'm going on the side here on the 15 millimeter bead and then I'm going on the fire polish so I'm ready to step up again of course you can reinforce again I always do and I come back again and reinforce the whole band because it's important you're going to put it on your um, on your hand uh, on your finger again and again so you must make sure it's uh, super tight so now we're going to add another unit right here so we're going to pick up 250 now two fire polish three millimeter and two more 15 now let's see if i can take it and my thread is exiting this fire polish I'm going through the same one on the opposite direction it's basic right angle weave stitch which we um, we've done it many times on this channel okay like this maybe if I put it down you'll see the unit so this is a unit this is another one we're going to step up through this 15 now and again through the fire polish and we're going to add one more so basically you're going to do this until you have the desired length for uh, your side i will tell you how many i add for me so let's add one more unit so I'm going to pick up two 15 holes. Again, as you can see, I choose the, the, sim the same color for the seed beads. So two 15 holes, two fire polish, three millimeter, and two 15 holes. I use similar colors, but of course you can use a different color for seed beads or for the three millimeter. You can uh, make it uh, look as you like. So this is how it's looking now so on the original design let's see we added one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12, 13, 14 units. So this was the size uh, that it was good for me. So keep doing this until you have the desire you want, uh, the length you desire. So I will meet you right back. I will show you how to connect it on the other side um, of the super dual. Welcome back. I hope you finish uh, making the band uh, as much as long as you wanted. I will leave it like this. It's enough to show you how to connect it. So let's see. We we connect it through this uh, super door right here. We want to connect it now through the opposite one. So if I put my needle like this, this is the opposite one. If it's helping you, you should count besides the one you connected one, two, three super dual. So skip three super dual connect to the fourth and you'll have three also on the other side so these two are in the middle so now I just step up on the fire polish so instead of picking up 250 no to fire polish 250 no I'm just going to pick up just 250 no this time and I'm going this is the super duo that I was telling you about so I'm just going through this like so let's see it's getting more harder to pass your needle Now when I'm going to pull, let's see how it's going to look, it will curve on the inside just like this. Now I need, as you see we have the right angle weave unit here, I'm going to pick up two more 50 nose and go through the last two 3 millimeter fire polish we added to complete our uh, unit of right angle weave. So now when I'm going to pull, it's going to be connected just like this. The best is to go again. I'm going through the 250 millimeter and again through the super dual. As I told you, I, I reinforce my band, uh, all of it again. I think it's important like this then through the 250 Soho seed bead again through the fire polish and if you want to reinforce the whole band you're just going like this through the seed beads on the side then back through the fire polish And the seed bead, and so on. You can do this at least two times. The most important thing is to reinforce where it's connected here. So there you have it. Now I will show you the final result. So we are done. Once again, another tutorial. I hope uh, you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will help my channel to grow so much, and I will appreciate it a lot. So I will show you again how it's looking on the hand I think it's gorgeous it's elegant and the plus size it's very very easy to do so until next time hope to see you soon take care and bye bye